Number 1. The Karnak Temple A distinguished tourist boom in Luxor governorate, with thousands of tourist groups around the world flocking to the Karnak temples on the eastern mainland in the midst of global tourism. After the success of the Ministry of Affairs and Antiquities in the Ministry, of defense and the plane that takes place inside Karnak with pure Egyptian hands. The great turnout of tourists from around the world to enjoy the warmth of winter in Luxor as the governorate witnesses a distinguished influx of tourist trapes that visit Egypt before the start of the winter tourist season in Egypt. Karnak or the Karnak Temple Complex, which is better known as the Karnak Temple, is a group of temples, buildings, and columns where expansion and construction operations continued since the Pharaonic era, specifically the kings of the Middle Kingdom until the Roman era and Luxor in Egypt. On the eastern shore, the temple was built for the divine trinity Amun Amun Ra in modern times. His wife, the goddess Mit, and their son, the god Khonsu, each of them has a temple belonging to the Karnak Temple Complex. Sometimes tourists and non-specialists mean only the Karnak Temple, the temple belonging to Amun Amun Ra. Karnak means the fortified city, and it is called in the ancient Egyptian language Abbot Rust, meaning the most prestigious and revered place. It is a small Egyptian city located on the eastern bank of the Nile in the city of Luxor, Thebes in the past, which includes the most important religious complex in ancient Egypt. It also forms part of the complex called the Ancient Temples of Thebes, declared by UNESCO in 1979 as human heritage. It is a group of the largest temples in the Egypt. The best activities when visiting Luxor Temple visiting the Obelisco, Ramses, which records his military victories at the entrance to the temple. Take a tour of the Sphinx Road between 30 for sandstone statues that mimic the original statue in Giza and led to the temple of the god Khonsu. Enjoy seeing and photographing the Eastern Obelisk and its inscriptions and hieroglyphic drawings that decorate it from the base to the top. Number 2. Luxor Temple Luxor Temple is one of the most important and beautiful ancient Egyptian temples that were built on the eastern bank of the Nile in Luxor since 1400 BC in reverence for the god Amun, his wife Mit, and their son Khonsu, or what is called the Holy Trinity of Thebes, and it is one of the most important tourist attractions in Luxor. The temple is an impressive group of edifices that were constructed during the reign of kings Amenhotep, Thutmose, Ramesses, Hatshepsut, Tutankhamun. A short tour inside Luxor Temple lets get acquainted with a short tour inside the Temple of Tourism in Egypt. Seeing the edifice of Ramesses II with its eastern and western wings, which records the war victories of the king and his relationship with the gods and is preceded by two statues of him with his wife on the throne at the entrance. Number 3. Valley of the Kings it is located on the west bank of the Nile River opposite the city of Luxor and includes tombs for the kings and entourage of the pharaonic families from the 18th to the 20th dynasty, which ruled Egypt for five centuries. The valley is divided into two sides, an eastern side that includes most of the royal tombs and the western side, and its tombs range from simple to large complex ones that include approximately 120 tombs that were built between the 11th and 16th centuries BC, and it is considered one of the most important tourist attractions in Egypt. What are the best activities to do in the Valley of the Kings? The best activities to do in the Valley of the Kings on your way to the Valley of the Kings Luxor, you can visit the legend of the Pharaonic era, the two largest statues that you can see, which are the two statues of Memnon Luxor, and get to know the truth about the legends that are told about them. Also, a visit to three royal tombs for one ticket, the most of which is a visit to the tombs of Kings Ramesses III and Ix and the complete tomb of Tutankhamun, seeing the mummy of Tutankhamun, the only one available in the tombs open to visit. 
Also, taking memorial photos and buying DVDs from the Valley's bazaars too. Document the trip. Do not worry, there are many hotels near the Valley of the Kings, which are very beautiful. Number 4. Colossi of Memnon A statue of Memnon, or as it was called in the past, ancient singing statues, which is one of the most beautiful tourist attractions in Luxor as they were famous in ancient times and its sounds due to the cause of the time of dawn and with time, the ancient time, its beginnings and its causes because of its causes in the beginning because of time. Time the present time is stillness. And the year of the two statues of Memnon and Luxor on the western mainland, on the road leading to the Thebes Cemetery in Luxor in the Valley of the King's region, where they receive visitors. From the eastern bank of the Nile River, the pharaoh Amenhotep III and his wife Tai are flying, and they were made in the 4th century BC, with a height of each reaching a length of about 20 to meters, and it is one of the most important tourist attractions in Egypt. As for the activities that can be carried out when visiting the Colossus of Memnon, Luxor take the ferry from the eastern bank of the Nile to the Thebes Cemetery in the modern city of Luxor, where you will be greeted by the giant statue of Memnon Luxor. Also, watching the statue of Memnon and Luxor up close and learning about their history and the legends that are told about them, which are a pair of huge statues made of stones. Also, near the Colossi of Memnon Luxor and only steps away. You can visit Rabab Luxor and enjoy collective art where you can watch and listen to the finest arts of music and singing. Before leaving the West Bank, you can also visit the Valley of the Kings, Luxor and see the most famous tombs of the Kings of the Pharaohs as it is located steps away from the Colossi of Memnon and on the same way back to the eastern bank of the Nile. Number 5. Deir el Medina. Facts about Deir el Medina. The Deir el Medina area was a suitable place for living for ancient Egyptian families. In addition, special tombs were found for workers and people who lived in the area, including a tomb for the man and A dry his well wife. was discovered that was used in the past to throw pottery pieces with letters of love, complaints, and prayers written on them as was believed in the ancient Egyptian 5, culture. 5,000 pieces of pottery were found in a dry well next to Hatter Temple, with various messages written on them from love letters between lovers, inscriptions and drawings of families, and texts describing their daily lives. It was called in the ancient Egyptian civilization the name of Sitmat, which means the House of Truth or the City of Truth. The area contains more than 50 tombs for workers and supervisors with unique decorations and inscriptions. Number 6. Ramesseum Ramesseum Temple in Luxor, Egypt, the most important pharaonic monuments and funerary temples of King Ramesses II and what are the secrets and history of ancient Egypt. Ramesseum Temple in Luxor, Egypt, the most important pharaonic monuments and funerary temples of King Ramesses II and what are the secrets and history of ancient Egypt to build the temple and the inscriptions and pharaonic drawings that were discovered to tell us the culture of the pharaonic civilization to start the journey of visiting the tourist attractions in Luxor in addition to getting acquainted with the tourist attractions in ancient Egypt. Number 7. Temples of Edfu The Temple of Edfu, or the Temple of Horus, is the second largest temple in ancient Egypt after the Karnak Temple. 
It is located in the city of Adfu in Upper Egypt on the west bank of the Nile River, which was known during the Hellenistic period in colloquial Greek and in Latin Apollonopolis Magna. The temple represents one of the last attempts of the Ptolemies to build temples on the pattern of their predecessors' body and luxury. It took about 180 years to build the Temple of Horus. The temple was dedicated to the chief deity Horus, who was identified as Apollo under the Greek interpretation and is one of the best preserved shrines in Egypt. The temple was built during the rule of the Ptolemaic Kingdom between 237 and 57 BC. The inscriptions on its walls provide important information about the language, mythology and religion during the Hellenistic period in Egypt. In particular, the temple's inscribed construction texts provide details both of its construction as well as preserving information about the mythological interpretation of it and of all other temples such as the island of creation. There are also important scenes and inscriptions from the sacred drama that narrate the ancient conflict between Horus and Seth. It was interpreted during the German Edfu project where the symbols and engraved letters mention the rituals that were followed in the past. That the temple building was built where a great battle took place between Horus and Set. I advise you to visit the city of Luxor in Egypt, because it is the best tourist city in the world. It has a very great history, and there are pharaonic ruins and a great history in it. It will remain your greatest trip, and it will remain in your memory always. Thank you for watching. Always wait for us in a beautiful video about the best tourist cities in the world and the best places to visit, and we will make it easier for you to know the tourist countries that you will go to. I hope you like the video and write a motivational comment for us so that we can provide you with beautiful content as we do my loved ones.